Okay, so we have the power off. This video is for informational purposes only. We have these fuses pulled. These fuses were actually cleaned and reinstalled. We had a little bit of corrosion on some of these. We cleaned them up. Those are pulled out of the main. And we're looking at this, the connections here. You can see they're a little sort of corroded. We're going to move, since we have room on the panel, we're going to move the breaker down a little bit so it connects to a, a clean spot here. I've already cleaned it up with some Scotch-Brite. And if we look at the old breaker, we can see that this breaker is fairly well corroded in there. It has corrosion on both sides of the connection. And actually, when, you, when I tested the voltage at the black wire, we didn't have any voltage coming out of it. And once again, we can see that that is pretty well corroded up. And in combination with a worn bar, we could have problems. And we did have problems because we weren't getting 220 volts at the socket. Only one of these legs was hot coming out of here. So we have a new one here. We're going to replace it. This is a 50 amp breaker. Now this is this is considered a space saver version. This is considered a standard version. This is a copy of a Zinsco uh, standard version made by uh, CE and Company. And you can see how clean these contacts are compared to these that are to me almost a fire hazard and that's why I'm replacing them mainly um, so yeah that's why we lost power now this situation may happen with your dryer or your range it may have only partial power so for instance your dryer may come on but it might not heat or for instance your range may only have two burners on opposite sides that, that work and or your main oven burner may not work. Okay, so I use one of these. These are testers. They put a draw on the, they put a slight draw on the line, no big deal. But basically we want to go across the black and the red and we want to show 220 volts here. And if we look at the meter, we see that there are 220 volts coming out of that. And so that was our original problem. We didn't have 220. We had 110 on one leg. So this one's solved. Mystery solved. And that's your tip for today. Thanks for watching. If you need any help, you can contact me, 707-443-8347 Pacific Time. I give phone advice for a donation.